Okay, today we'll be, I just got the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. We got Bebop, Leatherhead, Superfly, and John Cena's Rhino. Overall, just from looking at these, these figures look very vibrant. I myself am a huge fan of Superfly. The packaging itself is the same on all of them. I even like how they added tiny specs of what these characters are, just calling them Fly Guy. The I, I like that they put the design of the movie characters rather than just the figures. I do think the Target ones have the figures on the back. But this is actually very cool. Okay, this is weird. They include all three wings, and then they just make one connected. That That's kind of weird. Accessories look awesome. The fly swatter, even from the classic. Superfly. Superfly. Okay. One wing. Little mutagen gun. Superfly. This, this looks cool. Okay, overall this figure has pretty good articulation. The claw, I wish the claw was not connected. Because that's, that's definitely a downside. The head having just this one swivel is pretty nice. He has elbow, he has the time of arms that don't much. The pss, surprising is the knee articulation and the little shoe that he's seemingly outgrown puncturing through, kind of suggesting he might be human, or he tried to put it on and it failed. From what the trailer suggests, she also has an Australian accent, which is interesting. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Definitely a lot of good accessories. Got a little knife, bear trap, fishing rod, gun. Good. Oh, this, this is probably one of the near anticipated ones. Like this one definitely looks just cool. The little goggles, the hat, the little gun holster, like the tail. A little shotgun. I think you can probably fit that into. Okay, either way. I, it uh, should fit. This definitely have to like squeeze it in there, but it fits. Overall, the figure is okay. In my opinion, this is starting to be really good. I would, I kind of would. Look, this figure does feel very reminiscent of the first of the original character. This is a very good figure. Do the Seth Rogen's character up next. Just from the box, you can even tell it looks just like the character from the original show. Definitely some interesting art accessories. You got another knife, a barbed wire bat, a trash can lid, and a drill gun that looks almost like what we got in the original series. Easy. Very easy to get out. Always hard to get the bigger figures out of the boxing. It's always noisy too. Oh, this is definitely very good. The elbow articulation is definitely restricted by the shoulder pads, which kind of upsets me. Overall, this the head sculpt has definitely got to be one of my favorite Bebop head sculpts I've ever seen. Definitely more classic looking. The, the paint looks good. I would say that it'd be kind of funny if we got if this is either wow or if he just looks down and says mom. I love this figure already. It reminds me so much of the classic. And let's go on to his partner. Okay, I've heard so much talk that John Cena's Rocksteady looks so weird in this and people just the giant head 
is usually what offsets people. Near the same trash can lid as Rock's Bebop, another gun, a hammer, and an even smaller knife, which I'm guessing is probably going to be very hard to find if you lose that. He comes with his own little gun. Looks like you can, it'll fit into his hand pretty well. This is what I've heard many people arguing about that you have to con this figure is so massive that you have to actually take him out of the packaging and that he is this massive that you can act that you need to connect his arm. It's definitely should be looks like it just snaps in might come out if you pull hard enough but overall it does block a bit of the shoulder articulation a bit like just like the bebop one but the other shoulder seems to have pretty good articulation the head swiveling looks so weird because of that one gap and on the other side it looks weird the humped body is somewhat off-putting Otherwise, this looks pretty much exactly like the original. I mean, it has the same belt, camo pants, khaki pants, boots, the yellow shirt that's ripped up. I would say this figure would definitely be scary if it just ran up at you. But overall, I even like how they included his little silver tooth on each side of his face. And overall... I would give this entire set a pretty good score. Overall, I would say these figures are really good. So, my favorite has to go to Superfly, mostly for the color, the detail. It just makes me, this is probably my favorite figure out of the whole line so far. I haven't got the Turtles yet, so that's still up to debate. Bebop will take a very good second, Leatherhead a third, and Rocksteady, unfortunately, will take the my lowest standard, mostly the head. The head is just freaky. I love the accessories and how they're making it look just like the original. These are very good figures. I cannot wait to open up the accessories later on. If you want to buy these figures, I highly suggest it. You can test them out yourself or watch other videos. But this is just my review. Have a good day.